Hey folks, Jay Barino here. Welcome back. It's StarCraft Master Recall of StarCraft Brood War Remake and StarCraft 2. Okay, so we're heading into Dark Origin. It's the secret map of Queen of Blades. We unlocked it by completing the Reckoning five minutes quicker than necessary. So, Omega also unlocked with that. The There is no prerequisite to complete the secret mission if you unlocked it to go right into Omega. So, Dark Origin. Going back to the Protoss here. Call back there to the old... Uh, the old opening loading screen. It wasn't really a loading screen back from in StarCraft 1. It was just sort of the splash screen for the mission. This map is fun. It's all micro. It's, it can be a little tricky. And I don't remember which stasis cells have the infested Terrans in them. <laughs> so we might have a few gotcha moments. We'll make sure to quick save a bit. Uncharacteristically true to her word, Kerrigan allowed Zeratul and a few of his brethren to leave the planet Char with their lives. These weary, battered Protoss set their course for the planet Shakuras with the hopes of finding their comrade Artanis and any other survivors of Kerrigan's wrath. Spoiler alert, they're, they're on their way to Char. My friends, we have suffered a great defeat. Our matriarch is dead. Our fleets have been scattered across the astral winds, and Kerrigan has gained complete control over the Zerg swarms. Yet, as always, we must struggle onward. Our immediate priority is to find Artanis and his warriors. Once we have made contact with him, we can return to Shakuras and plan our next moves. Prelate Zeratul, we are currently tracking Protoss power signatures emanating from an uncharted moon nearby. Our records do not indicate that there has ever been a Protoss settlement in this quadrant. Strange. It could be Artanis or other survivors of our fleet down there. At any rate, it is our duty to investigate the source of the energy signatures. Set your course for the Dark Moon. If Artanis is there, we shall find him. Your route is Duran backwards. Also, I'm loving the uh, the High Templar retro mod portrait. I, I don't know, something about the old High Templar from StarCraft 1, they just look so creepy and mysterious as opposed to StarCraft 2 when they're very noble. I don't know, I like the red eyes in the shadow. Near the source of the energy signatures. Uncharted moon. They appear to be energy resources. Zeratul, our sensors have detected a small Terran compound near the source of the energy signatures. Understood. I'll look into this matter myself. But I've never seen anything like this on Oith. Alright. We've got our good old buddy Zeratul who does a, a hundred damage, something like that. Yep, a hundred. Investigate the enemy signatures, energy Your signatures. Orders, Templar. Find that media. Okay, so we want to... Use Zeratul to scout out because he's got a butt-ton of shields, which come back relatively quick. If you're a little diligent, you keep them in the back a little bit. So we want to be take... <coughs> Excuse me. That one's been building for a while. We want to take... Uh, there's some enemy tanks. That's our... That's our first set of business. Okay, so do they have scan? They don't. We could take some of these. And we want to take both of these tanks at the same time without them shooting each other. So let's see if we can do it. We want... We're, they're going to each shoot our Dark Archons first. So, the, whichever one we take first should be on a, an attack cooldown, and then we can mind control the other one in the meantime. So let's uh, let's just quick save and try to get both, right? Let's move on in. Alert. Just like that. Alert. Protoss warriors detected in compound. All security units to your stations. You address me. That's also why I get rid of the marines first as well. Now we've got two fresh siege tanks. No damage at all. They're the retro siege tanks. Good stuff. Okay, and let's continue to use Zeratul. I don't believe that the enemy can rebuild. I think they have production structures somewhere in the bottom right, but I'm, they shouldn't be used. I don't know. Was there even a difficulty selection on the briefing? I wasn't even paying attention. Okay, so now we've got uh, two Dark Archons that are fresh out. Granted, as long as they get enough energy, it doesn't matter what their shields are at, we can mind control again. So, these two are our go-to. Those two Dragoons... Oh. Forgot about that. These two Dragoons not going to be that useful. I could try to take a couple Marines. I could also just use Zeratul and run in and take the heat and kill those things. It's tempting to run in and just mind control a couple, uh, 
Marines, but that would be really stupid. So I'm not going to do that. Okay, get in there, Zeratul. Let's back these guys out. There we go. Let Zeratul take the heat. Move on in. Destroy this. I, got, I don't remember what's in the first... I don't remember what's in the first... Stasis thing. I don't remember. What are they called? Stasis cells. Yes, okay. So, typically, you wouldn't think to destroy these, but in the original, you could auto it. You could, uh... You could A-click them, and... Something would spawn out of them. Sometimes bad news bears. Sometimes it was something good. You might get a high Templar or something. There is a Brutus in this cell. Danger. Test subject 23 is suffering from psychic feedback. Pylon crystals at critical stage. Cell meltdown imminent. Damn. The Terrans are having more trouble utilizing pylons than I thought. And I still have no clue as to why they had imprisoned that Protoss within the cell. The Super Metroid sound effects are perfect, I feel like, for this. Hey, so we could actually see what's in the tanks. Maybe we'll be able to see... Maybe we'll be able to see an infested Terran in the one that has an infested Terran. I suspect the next one is the one with the infested Terran. And by the next one, I mean the one that's kind of down here. I don't remember. I don't know. My memory of this map is a little hazy. It's a little hazy. That's why I'm going to take it kind of slow. I don't remember. Oh, just had a little bit of an internal burp there. Excuse me. Uh, I don't remember if there's other units we want to be taking. Just want to be diligent. Okay, there is nothing. Anyway, we're going to go down this direction next. And we're letting all of our Dark Archons get their ability to mind control back. Getting to the point where it might be worthwhile to <laughs> take a few shitty units. Maybe grab a medic and a couple marines. Probably not worth it. Probably not worth it at all. Anyway, we're going to head... Oh, there's a tank. Oh, and there's some... There's some... Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to try to take that tank on the high ground. And I think if we can grab it, we should be able to grab it just with the vision that we get here. There we go. So now we have another... Siege tank, and we can go ahead and start sieging down these. Some stuff is placed in a way such that you just know you're, you're supposed to do it that way. Okay, so let's siege up here. Move forward with the Dragoons to cover us from any Marines that might run forward. There they are. Perfect. The Dragoons got there just in time, such that my tanks took literally zero damage. I think even in the original version of this map, SC... <coughs> Excuse me. Ugh. I don't know. My, my cough has really been improving. I hadn't recorded for several days and then suddenly start recording. It's like, uh, cough muscle memory. Oh, he's recording. Let's fuck it up. Let's fuck it up for him, cough. Okay, let's just get rid of the pylons first. Going well so far. This poor fella needs to stay in the back. Granted, they've got the uh, Kaderan amulet. No, not Kaderan amulet. It's, uh, Argus Crystal upgrade, which is a direct reference sort of to, uh, I don't even think sort of. I think it's literally a direct reference to StarCraft 1 Retribution, that shitty add-on that I played. Um, that's the only place where I think the Argus Crystal was mentioned, and that came out before Brood War. So I, I think that that may have been the origin of the... Oh, God. Um, go yeah, get in there. Take him. No, don't do that. Okay. Forgot that that was there. Oh, no. We took a little damage on our siege tank. Not like these. Okay. You stay back. Well, now we have a battle cruiser. Anyway, they get enough energy back to mind control a second time bef long before they have enough shields, which I think is great. Okay, let's try to link up with this other tank that we have. Let's not carelessly lose it. Zero Tool, though, still our best bet in inching forward. As I suspected, there are more stasis cells here. Okay, what's in this one? See, we can't see what's in this one. Maybe, do we not have vision on it? No, we don't. Okay. Yeah, see, it's a High Templar. So theoretically, we could break this one, and it shouldn't be an infested Terran. There is a Brutus within this cell as well. Maybe this computer terminal can give me the answers I seek. Test subject 25 in cryo-hibernation. Neuroscan compiling data. DNA code computed and archived. Psionic emanations minimal. The audacity of these Terrans confounds me. If they seek to know more about Protoss warriors, I will give them a first-hand lesson. 
Okay, let's break him out of here. Let's break him out of here just in case it turns into an infested, <coughs> an infested Terran or some shit. I don't know why. I just like wouldn't be surprised if some bullshit like that happened. So we'll quick save. Well, I already did. Okay, come on, give me something good. I think it's just a high Templar, or he might just die. Sometimes they just die. Cool. Okay, now we have a high Templar who can hallucinate. I think that's honestly the more worthwhile. The more worthwhile thing that he can do. I also want to make sure I don't miss any cells, but I don't think... There aren't too many more. One of them has Zerg in it. One of them has an infested Terran. We might get another High Templar. I don't remember. And then there's the one in the bottom right, which is the last one to get. Okay, so let's inch up with these units. Let's hotkey my High Templar. Get a fatty storm in place when we need it. Let's check and see if we can do anything on the high ground up here. I don't think so. No. So the next area has a good amount of marines that patrol. I could take a few of them, but I think that that would be wasteful. Instead, I'm just going to set up my tanks, run Zeratul in, bait them towards us, because I think there's, there's probably... Uh, there's probably detection, and then we just draw them into siege tanks and Cyanic Storm. So let's do this. Everybody move forward. Zeratul, lead the way. Again, he has so much, he has so much HP. Rather, he has so much shields. Colloquially, the same thing. You know what I mean? I just took a bunch of damage from my own splash. Okay. Yeah, see, they're not building anything out of this. That's good. I recall there being a bunch of marines here, but I guess not. Zeratul, just just be careful, buddy. Yeah, see, there is, there's an infested Terran in there. So I'm not going to take the bait. We're going to take this science vessel if we can. If we can, get him! Okay. Good. Now we have... Some fatty sight and defense matrix. Okay, let's move forward with this group. Looking pretty good, in pretty good shape, I'd say. Could still afford to use a few. Oh god! Kill him! No! So it blows up no matter what. I thought that one was just, hey, don't uh don't break it. Oh god, where did we save last? That was a total gotcha moment. I forgot that that blows up no matter what. Silly me. I, I remember there was one where I accidentally blew it up myself, and then that's what happened. So, we'll leave the tanks <laughs> sieged up. Alright, let's get our... Let's get our buddy out of here. Bring this tank... Okay, we're not that far behind or anything. We just want to make sure we get the, uh, the science vessel. That's the only major difference here. Okay. Oh, that sucked. Oh, that was so stupid. Okay, let's move up. Everybody move on. Yeah, we're not that far behind. We're not that far behind. Let's just get in range of this. Zero to move up. Get him in there. Oh, yeah. Okay. Careful, Zero Tool. Don't take the... Uh... Wait, that's the wrong thing. Uh, mind control. There we go. There we go. Now we're back to where we were, basically. I wonder if I can mind control the infested Terran. <laughs> I don't know when I would use him. It seems like waste. Okay. There it is. Kill the... Kill the... Yes! Yes! Ha ha! All right. We've used it to our advantage. There may be another one, but I don't recall there being one. Anyway, in the original version of... In the original version of this in Brood War, uh, the SCVs you couldn't build with. I think there's an SCV you can get later with some minerals to repair your Terran mech. Um, in this mission particularly, I think their their ability to build was completely disabled. Thankfully. Because, you know, you, you have some people who would just play this mission forever, forever, trying to, trying to build up an entire Terran tech tree. You see a little Archon in there. There's a ghost. Kill him before he cloaks. Clandestine mercenaries. I don't remember that that was what they were called, but I bet that's what they were in the original. Let's move on up here. If we're lucky, we can get this Archon. And we're going to take the SCV as well. Okay, mind control. I could take the civilian as well, but I'm not going to. That'd be stupid. Okay, attack this. Please don't be an infested Terran. Please. I would laugh if it was. Let's quick save just in case. I swear there was one where it was optional to destroy it and there was an infested Terran, but I'm pretty sure that other one that we already blew up was the only one. Okay, Zero Tool will get in there and attack this, so this is taking too long. 
pylons are 300, 300. Where do they get these beefed up pylons? How do we get how do we get our hands on those? Oh yeah. Give me that Archon. Okay. And we've got the SCV, which can't build. Cool. This was a good little deviation from, from the course. Head on down here and on to the next set. We have to go down here. It's like a zigzag. We're gonna go down to the left and then sweep down to the bottom right. I believe. SCV, follow. We'll leave that civilian alive so that he can pass on what he's learned to the Mobius Corporation. Okay, Sijan up. Let's move these fellas up here. I just don't want the tanks taking direct damage, to be honest. I think it'd be wasteful if they did. Okay, they can see me. There must be a... There must be a, a science vessel floating around somewhere. We could take it as well. I could defense matrix one of my... It's... I see, it was patrolling. I could defense matrix one of my dark archons and then take it. Or we just take it. Move it back. Now we have two science vessels, which... The, the best thing that those are going to be used for is defense matrix. I really can't imagine a situation where I'm going to be irradiating. I guess EMP could be really good against Yamato gun. Okay, so let's... Let's move one of these up. Give me some vision here. You know what? Irradiate him. I don't give a shit. I just said I wasn't going to use it. Let's use it. Boom! Yeah, run into your stupid fucking friends. Yeah, kill kill your friends. Fool. Okay, so let's... Let's just do this. Alright. Let's send this guy in here. Kill the remaining marines. Probably going to be able to one-shot them because of the irradiate. Oh, that's... I, look at that, that StarCraft physics engine doing its job. You kill those guys, they fall from the... They fall from the ledge. That's sweet. I just realized they recreated Defense Matrix really, really well. It's not just a straight-up shield. It adds a huge amount of armor up to a certain damage threshold, such that you you still take hull damage to an extent. All right, this is exactly what I think the Battlecruiser is good to be used for in this specific circumstance. Yamato this. Pew, pew! Let's head on down here and do the same. Get rid of these Marines, if there are any. There may not be. Set the course. There's a Zergling in there. We can break him out and kill him. Nah. We'll just leave him in there. Disrupt their research, they said. Nah. Not worth it. That Zergling could kill all of us. It's not worth it. If I had Yamato up, I'd Yamato one of these Marines right now. I'll have you know. I, I would not hesitate to do it. Cool. Okay, that should be all this. Now we can move in pretty safe. I don't... Unless there's like a tank hiding out somewhere. I don't think there is. I don't think there is. Famous last words. Okay, Zoik. Find that media. We find Dr. Wowie. What's this? There is a circling in this tank. What is going on here? Test subject 27 in cryohibernation. Neuroscan completed and archived. DNA code computed and archived. Gene splicing between test subjects 25 and 27 completed. Experiment 2273 progressing. By the gods, this can't be happening. Spooky! Yeah, let's do it. Let's... let's do it. Not you, SCV, just in case. Don't want you taking some stupid damage. Oh, can we not? Is it invulnerable? Destroy it! Shouldn't mind control the Zergling. Am I missing a... Oh, my, my dark, other Dark Archon must be stuck. Oh, there's a bunch in there. Huh, okay. Let's, uh... On to the next one. Why am I just balled up with my units? It's a big mistake. He says as he continues to do it. All right, we want to go this way. Gotta go this way. The last base is locked up pretty tight, but all of our Dark Archons should be able to be... Yeah, they all have enough energy to mind control. I think it's 150, right? Yeah. So we should... <laughs> I don't want to re-record this at this point. Sometimes if my cough gets really bad, just only if I'm a couple minutes into a video, I'll just stop and come back later. But at this point, I don't want to. So... I just don't want to. It's a Saturday evening. I want to go and play some Zelda. Uh, so I'm not I'm not going to redo this. So excuse me for the the cough. Uh, it's been much worse in other videos, but it just seems... It feels especially disruptive today. Look at all these fellas. Definitely not going to... 
definitely not gonna mind control these. It's like asking for a maelstrom there, but if there's no detection, why would you, why would you just run in there? Zerat will kill them all. A hundred damage. A hundred damage, that's crazy. He can one-shot all infantry. Hydralisks, oh, it's so good. Okay, so we're coming up on the base. If there's siege tanks, we could take them. We could just mind control them just for the sole purpose of them being killed. I think there's a bunch of wraiths in here too. There's a tank. If we take that tank, then we're probably gonna take, I mean, we're, it's just gonna die. It might be worth doing just to get rid of it. This is super risky. <laughs> this is super risky. Why would I do that? Let's see if we can get this one too. Get out of there. Okay, I would love to take that battle cruiser. I think there's multiple battle cruisers. What we want to do is use our dragoons to try to get those wraiths to us. When did I get a second high templar? Oh, it was in there with the zerglings. I'm glad I blew that up. Uh, oh, they can't feed back. The, the dark templar feed back. I forgot about that. Okay, so we're going to feed back the wraiths. Or we could storm them if we can get them clumped up. Over here, assholes. Okay, it all worked out. Oh, don't, don't do that to me, man. Don't, don't, don't do that to me, man. Okay. So, we could do the same thing. Let's see, where are you, buddy? Ha ha! Okay, and then we're probably gonna move forward and take that battle cruiser when we can. Got two things locked down. There's stuff on the high ground too, actually. Let's just let's just play it cool. Let's just play it cool. Let's see if we could draw that battle cruiser into us. Yeah, over here. Over here! Yes! Float! Do it! We can be friends! You and me both! Two battle cruisers now on my side. Alright, so now we gotta get rid of that. This is cleared up, so let's go ahead and Use our two battle cruisers. I think they might have another one in there, but I want to get rid of anything that's on the high ground. I don't see anything on the high ground. That's good. There's a ghost. I don't like that one bit. I'm gonna Yamato this. Oh no! Here comes. Here comes. I thought I saw a battle cruiser floating towards me. It might have been on patrol. I'm hitting Y. I swear to God, I'm hitting Y. There we go. Pew pew. Yeah, there's another battle cruiser. Let's see if we can get who's got energy. Now I got three battle cruisers. This is probably enough to just auto attack our way through here. I'm gonna go irradiate that ghost. It's funny I was talking about, ha, huh, irradiate. Yeah, right. But we're using it. Have you really never used it before this? So I figure, you know what? This is my opportunity before the campaign ends to actually use some of these abilities that we never used to. How exciting for us. Okay, let's move up our battle cruisers. Cover my tanks. Zeratul's pretty much obsolete at this point because it's not worth the risk. No! 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 Yes! Yes! Oh my god, I did not want to get locked down again. Doesn't seem like there's any medics on this map. Okay. Good, good, good. Come on over here. Repair this fellow. Let's go ahead and start looking around the other... the other ledges to make sure there are no tanks. There is a tank. Kill this. You might know this before it gets away just because it'll bother me if it does. Cool. Cool. And let's see if we can just slowly kill this as it patrols in and out towards us. There's some scientists that we will definitely kill. The only survivor is that one that we, quote, forgot about in the upper left. He's the one that's going to get away and tell the, uh, tell the Mobius Corps what they've learned. Yeah, come into my tanks. There's a bunch of patrolling marines, but it doesn't even matter. I mean... How about we just, how about we just do this? Get in there, fellas. One turret really is doing all that damage. Okay, we've, we've done it. We've pretty much done it. Get on in there. Move on up with these fellas. Whatever's left, we can probably just mind control. Not with you, though. I think there's still a big bunch of wraiths in this base so it's really not we can't just run in there i mean we can we have three battle cruisers that should be more than enough all right uh, feedback and feedback cool feedback another one of those spells that we never really used so now's now's the day 
Today's the day. There's another battle cruiser, which we do have enough to mind control. Let's do it. Of course. Mm, feedback. Save him, Archon. Good work, you've done it. Siege on up, and I think we could just run Zero Tool in here, but I don't really want to risk it just in case. Battle cruisers just auto attack up here. I'm just, I, I don't want to lose a, a, a unit. I haven't lost any units. That's the only reason I'm not just running in there, because it's like, oh, who cares if you lose a unit? You're literally at the end. I care. All right, let's do it. I, I've never seen a creature like this before. Test subject 29 classified. Protoss Zerg hybrid, imperfect cryo-hibernation. Psionic emanations minimal. No. Magnificent, isn't it? What? Who are you? I've had many names throughout the millennia, young prodigal. You would know me best as Samir Guran. Kerrigan's card sort. Is this part of her twisted schemes? No. Young Kerrigan could not have engineered this grand experiment. Although her rebirth into this Zerg swarm has sped up my progress, I can assure you that this endeavor is quite beyond her narrow understanding. If you are not her pawn, then what are you? I am a servant of a far greater power. A power that has slept for countless ages and is reflected in the creature within that cell. Have you any conception of what you've created here? Do you have any idea what this, this hybrid is capable of? Of course I do. This creature is the completion of a cycle. Its role in the cosmic order was preordained when the stars were young. Behold the culmination of your history. All I behold is an abomination. Your violence, young prodigal, is typical, as is your inability to comprehend the greater scheme of things. You can destroy all of the specimens here. It will do you no good. For I have seen it a hundred on many, many worlds. You will never find them all before they awaken. And when they do, your universe will be changed forever. Left with the unsettling knowledge of this hybrid, Zeratul returned to his ship and left the Dark Moon behind. Unable to explain his numbing discovery to his companions, he could only sit in fear for the future of the universe. And he becomes kooky old Zeratul, as we know him in StarCraft II. So I'm not really going to talk about lore at all, just because some of you folks are Looney Tunes about it. So you talk about it amongst yourselves and I will remain silent. Uh, the only thing I will say, I made the I made the comment earlier, Nerud is Duran backwards. Uh, <laughs> it's interesting because when I played Mass Recall the first time, it was between Heart of the Swarm and Legacy of the Void, and I thought it would I thought it was common knowledge. I thought everybody knew. I knew when I played Wings of Liberty, I noticed it, and I was like, oh, sweet, it's Duran. But apparently, people to this day still don't actually know. So if you are one of those people that never realize it, Duran Duran is Nerud backwards, congratulations, now you know. Um, I think there was some lines that were cut, some Stukov lines that were cut in Heart of the Swarm that directly referenced it. Unfortunately, they just didn't really reference it at all until the epilogue when Stukov comes to say goodnight. All right, this has been Jay Barino. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye now.